Well, Peter, what if I met this chick? She doesn't smoke, she doesn't drink, and I fuck when I get syphilis and I die. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's so many things that can happen. Or the guy say, hey, Gorso, let me drive you to the museum. And the car crashes, bang, bang, slash. Or what if uh, maybe I beat bad pork one night and I go by bad pork? <laughs> I mean, wow. We have a question uh, from a buddy. Go ahead. But, I haven't been there, so... Uh, I can only talk... Uh, I, would, I would rather only talk in relation to Kerouac on that. Uh, the Ken Kesey and Neil Cassidy came cross-country during the 64 election with a, a vote for Goldwater as a vote for fun sign on the side of the bus. <laughs> and um, fought, I mean, this was their first pilgrimage to New York as, as a gang together. And uh, Kesey felt very strong love for Kerouac, as well as Burroughs. And so uh, Neil said that he would drive a car out to Northport to get Jack and bring him in to see Keezy and the, and the Merry Pranksters, who uh, were all, uh, at that moment, that evening, high on acid, uh, in an apartment on Park Avenue, which was heavily illuminated with electric, electronic bright lights, cameras going, many tape machines going, wires snaking all over the room, um, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, ethereal, scene actually with a lot of heavy metal around and a lot of electronics around so giving a, a sense of, of a robot uh, re-echoings ro robot uh, uh, reduplications and mir mirror images receding past into infinity and um, Neil arrived with uh, Jack who was brought in from Northport who was already sick who didn't want to come out or didn't want to leave the house because he knew if he went to the city he'd be drinking and he'd wind up pain in pain uh, brought Jack in the room, and me also. He, got, uh, he sent somebody else downtown to get me from East 2nd Street and bring me up to Park Avenue. So I sat quiet and watched. And everybody was eager to see what Kerouac would um, uh, do in appreciation, or how Kerouac would react to this uh, transposition of on the road into celestial, uh, a day glow, cosmic, uh, electronic uh, environment. Uh, Jack was very shy, uh, sat down on the couch, which was covered with American flags, in, um, uh, but shyly, and removed the flag and folded it up first. He didn't want to sit on the flag of Joe McCarthy. That's <laughs> what it boiled down to. But, okay, but he wasn't sure who everybody was and why they were all there, what they were coming on. So there was an element of uh, bewilderment and confusion in Kerouac. But more than that, like a very deep sorrow, realizing that all of these eager beaver pranksters were going through another stage of uh, uh, dumb show, another stage of uh, idealistic nonsense, another attempt to make themselves real, though they were all made of phantom stuff, and they hadn't yet realized it, and in the course of that they were poisoning uh, 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 Cassidy with amphetamine, as Jack was poisoning himself with alcohol, so Jack was um, uh, uh, down-mouthed, sad, reflective, uh, unresponsive to all their enthusiasm and uh, uh, actually forced electrical gaiety, brittle gaiety. Uh, the, 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 uh, Kesey was like, sort of like a very, very beautiful musing angel on the scene because he was observant in trying to understand where Kerouac was. Some of the younger pranksters were, were mocking of Kerouac. What's the matter with him? Why isn't he jumping? Why isn't he enthusiastic? Why isn't he excited? Why isn't he ecstatic? But his ecstasy was in the realization that they were all dead right there on the scene. The scene is still preserved in uh, tape and in... Um, uh, uh, film. Though uh, so ecstatic were the uh, pranksters that they probably didn't get any of the film uh, in focus and it was probably all <laughs> jarred and jumping. So the, the visual phenomena might be denied to later generations, but the, it's all recorded on sound tape and can be, except that they have all the sound tapes jumbled up and it's never been edited after 10 years already. It still hasn't been edited. So there was that one great meeting uh, lasting that evening and then Neil drove Jack back out to Northport. But Neil at that point was so jived up with amphetamine that he wasn't really capable of carrying on a um, um, uh, heart tender, mellow conversation with Kerouac. He was laying on Kerouac the story of the cross-country trip. Uh, Kerouac was uh, pained 
and so because drinking, not able to sit comfortably in the car and was sweating uh, in body, uh, so he wasn't able to attend with complete tenderness to Neil's condition, and they all arrived in this electronic nightmare together. <laughs>